Hi, my name is Prem Chandran. I'm a technical marketing engineer with Cisco's IBNG business unit. In this video, I will cover how you can visualize application experience from the 9800 wireless LAN controller in Cisco DNA Center. The main function of a network is to make sure users can access the applications they need when they need it and have a good experience. With Cisco DNS Center, you can view the applications running in your network and their throughput and performance statistics. This allows a network administrator to make sure if the problem is on the network side or on the application server side. You can also view the business relevant and business irrelevant applications to make decisions like whether you need to throttle certain applications or not. Now let us take a look at how this can be done using the 9800 wireless LAN controller and Cisco DNA Center. So the prerequisites are that the DNA Center should be running 2.1.2.4. The 9800 controller should be running 16.12.1 iOS XE or higher. And you also need to provision the 9800 controller and access points from Cisco DNA Center. That is if you want to apply the application telemetry from the Cisco DNA Center. There are three ways you can configure AVC on the 9800 controller. You can use the application telemetry option from Cisco DNA Center to configure it automatically on the 9800 controller. For this, you need to provision, like I mentioned, the 9800 controller and access points from the DNA Center. If it's a brownfield setup, and that is the SSIDs are already configured on the 9800 controller, you can turn AVC on from the 9800 UI, or you can turn it on from the 9800 CLI. You can configure the NetFlow and point it to the Cisco DNS sender as the collector. From Cisco DNS sender, there are two ways application telemetry is applied. One is the automatic algorithm where all the provisioned SSIDs from Cisco DNA Center are enabled for AVC. This is the easiest way to apply AVC on the SSIDs on the 9800 controller. The tagging based algorithm, you need to tag the wireless LAN profile name with a keyword and only the SSIDs which are tagged will be enabled for AVC when the application telemetry is applied from the Cisco DNA Center. And lastly, the tagging based algorithm has a higher precedence over the automatic algorithm. So essentially, the automatic algorithm is the easiest way to configure AVC on the SSIDs on the 9800 controller. So for the automatic algorithm, the SSID should not be a guest SSID. It should not have the word guest in the SSID name. And the SSID should be in the local mode, not in the fabric or flex mode. For the tagging based algorithm, it should have the LAN keyword in the wireless LAN profile name. The keyword is case insensitive. And also the SSID should be in the local mode, not in the fabric or flex mode. First, you need to make sure that the Cisco DNA sender is selected as the NetFlow collector in the telemetry settings in Cisco DNA sender. This is before you provision the 9800 wireless LAN controller and apply application telemetry. Then you need to create the SSIDs and wireless interfaces in network settings in the Cisco DNA sender attach it to a network profile, and then select the sites you want to apply the network profile. After that, you can provision the 9800 controller using that network profile. This will create the wireless LAN profile and policy profile in the Cisco 9800 controller. The next step is provisioning the access points. The access points should have joined the WLC before you do this. 
When you provision the access point, it will create the policy tag and attach the wireless LAN profile and policy profile that was created earlier to this tag. As you can see here, this is the wireless LAN profile created by Cisco DNS sender when the 9800 was provisioned. This is the policy profile created by the Cisco DNS sender when the 9800 was provisioned. And this is the policy tag that was created when the access point was provisioned. And you can see that the wireless LAN profile and policy profile are attached to this policy tag. You can also see that initially before the application telemetry is applied, the NetFlow configuration on the 9800 controller is empty. Also, there is no SSID which is enabled for AVC on the 9800 controller. To apply application telemetry on the wireless controller, first you go to the provision menu and then to the inventory. Here you can select the 9800 wireless LAN controller and go into actions, telemetry and enable the application telemetry. Once the application telemetry is enabled, you can verify in the wireless LAN controller whether the application telemetry is enabled correctly. So first, let us check the NetFlow configuration. And you can see that the NetFlow is configured and the NetFlow collector is pointing to the Cisco DNA sender IP address. You can also verify the application visibility configuration and you can see that the SSID provisioned from the DNA sender is enabled for AVC. So in the wireless LAN controller, you can go into monitoring and application visibility and make sure that the 9800 AVC is working properly and it is showing the applications in the AVC screen. Now to visualize this in Cisco DNA Center, Let's go back to the Cisco DNS sender and search for the 9800 controller. So let's select the 9800 controller where we turned on the AVC. Select the device 360 view. Go into the application experience section. And you can see that the applications from the 9800 controller are showing up in the Cisco DNS sender. You can see the packet loss, latency, and jitter columns. And those values will be populated for those applications where the 9800 controller is calculating the application experience, as you can see here. So in these applications like Facebook, YouTube, etc., you can see the packet loss and latency and jitter if applicable. So this is how you turn on application experience and uh, visibility on the 9800 controller from the Cisco DNA Center and visualize it in the Cisco DNA Center screens. This concludes the video. Thanks for watching.